welcome back to episode two of The Outer Worlds. Hope you enjoyed the first episode, ladies and gentlemen. But now, we're just gonna jump straight ba- straight into episode number two. So we left off go- having to go to the town leader. But the ship's still here. Hawthorne's ship. Well, I am Hawthorne, but ain't nobody gonna know. Where did the girl go? I don't. Ooh, what's up, Shorty? Lieutenant Mercer. Hey. All right, but our goal is to get to the town. We're gonna take over this base. What we're gonna do? A little campsite. All right, cool. So I got the, the my telescope. This guy's gonna get destroyed. <laughs> Not a chance. There's a dog. Watch out, homie. That ain't a dog. All right. Light work. That was light work. All right. Primal. What? All right. Where are the two guys I just killed? I want to know where those guys are. I'm going to loot them up. But first, let's get this heavy and light ammo. For sure. It's like a little base I can claim. I don't know. What? It's a little, little, um, amphibians I killed. But, um, yeah, let's just continue loot. Armor parts? Well, let's take that. Is this all to this base? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Ooh, here's the guy. Um, ooh, he has a hunting rifle. I'll take that, because I don't really have one. And I'll take his ammo. Alright, cool. Managing my inventory. Alright, so now we can go to town. Oh no, we cannot. Look at these guys. What? Freak. Should I use my sword? Mess him up. Chop him up. Let's go. Okay. Skin tough salve. What's up? What's up? Love melee. Let's just literally grab mining gear. Ah. I'll take it. I don't like having too much stuff in my inventory though. A light pistol, is that what I have? Yeah, I have a light pistol. I also have a toss ball stick. 57 damage. Oh my goodness. This is actually really good. Um, this can get out. I can put this here. These are my strong weapons. All right, cool. Now, um, I didn't kill these guys, but they're kind of here. It's a resident. Oh, <gasps> no way, dude. They got destroyed. Oh my gosh. Hey, I don't want to talk yet. I just want to look around. Hey. Where'd you come from? Steal. Ain't nobody stealing. I'm an honest man. All right, man. What's going on? What's your name? Silas. Don't go ambling out in those hills. That's marauder territory, friend. My pod crashed in the hill back there. How do you know I'm not a marauder? Just passing through. Um. Your pod? <sighs> My pod, you yeah. <laughs> you take a bruise through the cranium? Cranium, who talks that. like that? You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. Nice. I never got your name. I'm Mario. <laughs> nice. Do you pay? Do they pay you to chat with strangers? Lie, nice to meet you. I'm Alex Hawthorne, captor of the unreliable. Well, it's not really a lie because I am. Um, it's, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the first Please one. Please make your acquaintance. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. I like this guy. Well, what? Who do I talk about a power regulator? I'm looking to make a little money while I'm here. This place looks like it's falling to pieces. I'm gonna do this one. Got a knack for being discreet like? There's money to be made, long as you keep your nose clean. Edgewater is a company town, board-owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. 
None of us own our grave sites. We rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see? You want me to collect what's owed to you? I can do that. I can do that. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, well, got a quest. Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. Nice. You may want to twist his arm a little. Why is the Abernathy a special case? Where can I find these people? Probably Conrad's left. got a barbershop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy... I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. Ludwig. Um, there was something else I wanted to ask you. Let's, let's do this Just one first. Is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up. Can I persuade him? No. Yeah? <laughs> uh, you lose a lot of people to Marauders? Or I'll ask him that. Yeah. Marauders been raiding my graves, you see. Hence the armed guards. Why are they after loot? Yeah. I can take well, care of it. If you're gonna go headhunting, talk to Constable Reyes back in town. She pays for marauders by the finger. Uh, any idea where they're coming from? What are they after loot? Oh, no. They are after the most precious loot of all. Spacer's Choice Company property. If those marauders swipe any more bodies out of my cemetery, the company's gonna duck my pay. Cool. Sounds pretty in bad shape. If it's keeping you employed. That's like rude. How long? Hang on. I'm doing some math in my head. Uh, 20, 30, carry the one. Uh, carry the one. My life. Work's been real good to me. Fresh air, exercise. Only problem is the paperwork. Can't get anybody to pay their gravesite fees. Um, I guess I'll you save this one. You could look at it that way, I suppose. You could look at us and say, those Edgewater saps lost near every soul to plague. But you'd be wrong. We're survivors. Loyal company folk, brave in the wilds. Nice. You're not worried about f falling sick. Every now and again, a virulent plague sweeps through our town. That's life on the front plague. Here, I suppose. A body grows accustomed. Um, Definitely there we not go. the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, got another stop quest, by boys. Reed Thompson's office. He's up Reed in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Awesome. I wanted to ask you about something else. Nah, I think I'm done. I'll be on my way. See you, man. This is a gravesite? And we lost some heads. Oh my goodness. I don't need to talk to you, right? I could really go for some salt too. You're a robot. Salt tuna. I could really go for some salt tuna. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but... Alright, which mission? Is it right here? Main quest. Tasks. I kind of want to do side quests first. Ludwig, we're here for your tax money. Open up. Edgewater landing pad discovered. Cool. Hey. Oi! Ludwig. Ooh. Thank the law. I've been requisitioning backup for months. Guess the boss finally came to his senses. You ever swung a truncheon? Let me see your rifling stance. I want to make sure you're up to snuff. Swung a what? What are you babbling about? So let's have me your, have me your gravesite fees. Let's like talk to him first before we like shoot him in the head. The war, the coming apocalypse, man versus machine. I'm talking about mechanical soldier. Cold, heartless automatons made of iron and lies. Automaton. I don't know what you're talking about. Gotta watch your foot. Yeah. That's right. Dang straight. That's what I've been saying. We gotta square our shoulders and stand ever vigilant. Auto mechanicals. 
creatures forged in the fires of malevolence. I seen them over by the old power plant, clattering about, firing at the birds, orchestrating their uprising. When the swarms of mechanicals come clanging on over that hill, where will you be? Cowering beneath your cot? Or standing shoulder to shoulder with the resistance? Cowering beneath your what? Cot? I couldn't even tell you. If you was if your resistance needs another gun, I am for hire. I've been Thanks, Trey. A war chest over the years. So tuna cans mostly, some spaces chaw, few bit cards. I'll reward you for your aid. Nice. Persuade. Proper armies pay enlistment fees. Enlistment fees? Yeah, I suppose. Wouldn't want to give the resistance a bad name. Nice. You gain bit cartridge. 75. What do you need done? They have sent a scout prowling around the junkyard just behind our beloved town. The scout must not be permitted to return Dang. to its base of operations. Cross it off, then report back. All right, but before I do that, homie, uh, I could use a couple pointers. No, I genuinely don't care. But first, this one. Silas, I pay my dues if he agreed to join the resistance. Okay. This, this means he's finally heard the calling. Okay, cool. Uh, he sure did, and asked him for a little extra to uh, furnish the resistance with the kit. Nah. I ain't gonna lie. And we are in Edgewater. Hey everyone, seems like everyone's a robot, dude. All right, we're gonna go do these little tasks. I, I feel like they're all gonna give me missions because that one guy gave me a little side quest. So let's go ahead and, um, let's go ahead and meet up with these people. Space Choice Cantina Discover. Oh, is this the place I gotta be in? Do I just enter through here? Yes, Mr. Thompson. Ooh. I'm fine, Mr. Thompson. Never this is Mr. Help. Abernathy? Oh, I can't steal. Hey, yo, homie. Whoa, uh, did, uh, did Mr. Thompson send ya? Well, you tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post tomorrow. Uh, bright and early tomorrow, because I'm definitely not plagued. As spry as a spring chicken. <laughs> That's old Abernathy. I honestly don't even remember who came to me and tell me to get these people. Take it easy, Mr. Thompson didn't send me. Perception, you want to tell me what's got you so nervous? Is some sort of wandering alienist? Walking into a man's own domicile, pestering him about his mental state? Yes. Yes, I am. I'm here to collect your things. I'm positive you mentioned something about being plagued. You don't know that. I could have been saying anything. Maybe I said vague. You know how words sound a mite strange when you're sick. Wait, no. Oh, damn it. Okay, listen. Maybe I am feeling a little under the weather, but I swear I'm on the mend. Please, don't tell the constable. Don't worry, homie, I got you. You've got the play, get away from me, you leaper! Oh my... You should put a sign over your door or something, or at least cover your mouth. And become the town pariah? I'm already the oldest worker in town. I don't need to give them another reason to avoid me. Hey, you're hale and healthy and possibly for hire, ain't ya? Dang straight. You a good turn for an expiring old man? I'll do it. More quests. Cash and Brazilian tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. I need you to break in, nab that medicine, and bring it back to me. Break in. Oh my goodness! I'll do it. Me <laughs> Light work. Haste. I think I feel the plague spreading. Oh lord, it's in my spleen now. I can feel it. Okay. Um. One more thing. Nicholas knows, doesn't he? That's why he sent you. That's why he wants me to pay up. He knows. Look, I got my grave nice. right here. See? I'm good for my word. Get me that medicine, and I'll see to your payment. Good luck, sir. You're taking an awful risk, trusting me, you know. I'll I say know that, I guess. 
But I got nobody else to turn to. Reed would have wrote me up. Constable would have locked me up and wrote me up. Could have gone to see the good vicar, but I never did find my courage. I wish my guy spoke. You know? It just adds a little bit more to the game. Who is you? Excuse me. I'm Esther Blaine, Spacer's Choice Actuary. I overheard your talk with Abernathy. I hope you're not thinking about getting him that medicine. Abernathy is a well-known hypochondriac. Anthracillin is wasted on him. You're better off selling it to me instead. Shoot, he's got symptoms or something. You're staying, you're s saying it's... I have, do you have medicine five? All I'm saying is Abernathy's worked in this town longer than some of us been alive. How do I put this gently? He's, uh, he's got a lot of cobwebs up in his attic. Like his brain. Yeah, what do you need I it for, huh? Tell you. Don't want you implicated for what I'm trying to do. Then you ain't getting it. You, you ain't getting it. That's not shady at all. Let me worry about that. All right. Here's a summary. A lot of sick people in this town. And we don't have the medicine to treat them all. Can't reach out to corporate without crossing a river of red tape. So I'm reaching out to you. Nice. Can you match his offer? I get it. Chip. I paid better than Abernathy. Whatever he's giving you, I will do you one better. Whew. That's I got a lot to think about. I got a lot to think about, Blaine. Blaine. All right. Let's go over here. Um. Yeah, I think it's this shop. Hey, yo, homie. What's his name? Sadik. Hey, brother. Please don't touch anything. Your hands are probably crawling with germs. Physical hygiene. Recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. I hate the way this guy just looks. Ugh. I'm clean. So everyone says, until someone forgets to cough into their elbow, and then we're all dying of plague. I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet Spacer's Choice aesthetic standards. You will My also hair. report to me in the event of your death. Whereupon I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. He said, report to me of your death. Nah, goodbye. She's not playing. This guy is looking for me. I'm looking to repair my ship, prepare my remains for what? I'm going to repair my ship, ship, homie. Dear me, you seem to have lost the ability to distinguish between reality and fantasy. This is what happens when you let your imagination run wild. I don't approve of fantasizing. It's a dreadful habit, corrosive to the mental faculties. You ought to let the vicar take a look inside your head. What? I've got to... Vicar Maximilian, our man from the OSI, here to spread the message of scientism like a soothing balm upon a feverish head. Or so you'd expect. You'll find him in our local church. Probably neglecting his duties. Cool. You don't seem like him much. You don't seem to like him. Yeah. Why am I speaking so... He doesn't Ugh. seem to like us much. The vicar has not been with us long, and in his relatively short tenure in Edgewater, gives off the distinct whiff of superiority. Cool. Alright. Uh, gravesite fees. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. <laughs> you mean you're broke? As broke as pie crust, friend. Bitless, indigent, destitute. I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire, I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. Um... You have a very loose definition of the word prosperity. That's some quality drama, Conrad. You should audition. I see that. Edgewater is built on the discipline and sacrifice of its people. Say what you will about our town, but we all pull together. Tell Silas I can't afford to pay, and that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction. 
with my apologies. Oh, uh, hang on. Medical rights? Some time ago, I fell ill with the plague. By the grace of the law, and through my own hard work, I'd proven worthy of treatment. Frankly, I don't imagine I'll earn that right a second time. The barber work hasn't been profitable, you see. I've had to keep this old place running with my own savings. Just give Silas an IOU. Not a bad idea. But I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers. No, that won't do. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to suggestions. I have time for this. I'll let you know if I think of anything. Much obliged. Obliged. Cool, cool. So, tuna cannery. Do I go in here? I think I do. Is this an elevator? Terminal. This is just. Go. Go dip, dip, dip. What? Should have taken the stairs, huh? Got me going some. Oh. The grease monkey, Argo. I'm sorry. Guys, I literally didn't mean to come in, but um, I'm here. Try using small words for me. Yo. The cans bust open. Seems we've got a guest. You think straight? I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. Um, you must be the town boss. I'll wait until you're finished. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. Uniform? You have the wrong idea about me. Uniform, what are you talking about? Shirt, pants, work boots, company approved colors, the, uh, honorable apparel of a loyal worker? I think you may have the wrong idea about me. Let's skip the small talk. Yes, so it dawns on me. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. Yeah, my ship needs repairman, dude. Come on. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Tobson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling Ooh. it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator, but I happen to know of another one, and I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Frying. Well, let's hear it then. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down squandered, to the thermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once they the are using down, words! Their regulator and be along on your way. Mostly, Ben. What do you mean? That's a lot of, lot to ask for a stranger. Tell me about this geothermal plant. I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. Like marauders? What a surprise. I would have never guessed. Psh. I am not trying to pull one over on you, friend. You were bound to run into them sooner or later. The people living in the botanical labs, they're deserters. Former workers, I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. I feel like that. Tell me what I need to do. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, cool. Adelaide. Quest Tell added. Her the power's about to go. Nice. Deliver Reed's band message. Of deserters came back to town. All right, Reed. I'll see what I can help. I My know. dad told me all about the plant. Taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I have to say, sir. Ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. You will need an administrative passcode in order you to enter gain the geothermal passcode. And trusting Miss Holcomb noise. to you like. I could use the company. Great. 
I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. You're good. Let's go. Companions. I don't want to read this, guys. If you want to read it, you can pause the video. But I feel like this takes up too much of my time. Let's go, Parvati. Try pressing A. Homie came with me, right? Yeah. What's up, shorty? Hey. Sorry. One more. Hey, Here, hold on. Can we talk? Dang. Can we talk? Yeah. Sorry. I. You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just. Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters, on account of it's his job and, and what all, but that's not the only side of the tale. Um. Sure, it all comes together seamless in his own head. And I reckon he means well, for all that. It's just, he doesn't always get where other folk are talking from. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. Cool. How oh, the but the did you know this? Miss McDevitt? Oh, gosh, no. She was a real important person. A flavorist. Made all the food taste decent. She used to work up in the big office with Mr. Thompson. Part body. All I know is she left after her son died. It was a real big to-do. I could hear them both yelling clear from my own place. Can't say as I know, I wasn't there. The sound carried, but not the words. If Mr. Thompson ain't of a mind to tell you his own self, you'd best ask Miss McDevitt, if you can get out to her. Life's hard here, especially for them that don't fit in so well. We're one big uh, so, so much talking. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders or worse. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. Wow! I just got some quest. I suppose it couldn't hurt. We'll Thanks, stop by. I just no think problem. We gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody. It's best to think on the right and wrong of it. That's what my dad used to say anyways. I'm your dad now, all right? Let's go. Where is Shorty? Excuse me. Just need to talk to this girl. Hey, Phyllis. Press A again. You the new worker? Whatever, make it quick, Tenderfoot. I'm busy. Tenderfoot, who are you talking to? Shit. Silas still on about that. Here, take the fees. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Reed I was late on my payment. Aren't signed in your name? These are not my fees and not my gravesite. Guy I worked with shot himself. I paid the bill. Ooh. What a nice lady. That's kind of you, I guess. Yeah. I could do without the sarcasm. Wasn't acting sarcasm. out of the of my heart. Law requires delinquent gravesite fees to be paid by the deceased party's closest living relative, which meant me. Shame, though. Eugene was a good worker. Is this guy shot himself? Woke up one morning and put a round through his upper story. Can't imagine why. The kid was doing all right at his desk. We all thought he was an upstanding receptionist. Just between the two of us, I'm pretty shocked his weapon didn't misfire. Spacer's choice handguns aren't the most reliable. This is an awful thing to say. Must have been tough. Eugene wasn't family. Yeah, I was the closest living person relative to his body at time of death. I'm the one who found him, you see, so I pay the fines. That's Suicide's stupid. The legal term is irreparable damage to company property. Suicide's a crime? What? can't be serious. I'm plenty serious. 
In fact, I'm a little upset Eugene didn't think things through. In other words, Edgewater would have been penalized pretty hard. Whatever Eugene was worth as an asset, we would have had to pay out of pocket to Spacer's choice. Well, excuse you. I'll have you know, Eugene was an asset to us all. May his atoms be commended to the law. All I know is Silas asked me for Eugene's graveside fees, which means he was approved for burial, which means his papers went through, which means the town's in the clear. I'm just glad to put this whole ugly affair behind me. Eugene can rest his bones in peace, and the rest of us can get on with our own lives. I don't like that lady. All right, let's go to Silas. Silas, we got some. We got a lot of your things that you need, but one, cause homie broke. But I got a homie now. Got a little shorty. Got a little shorty. Is these the graves? Wow, these are actually cool. All right, where is my homie? A. Oi. I need to talk to you. You. Come here. Hey, my body. Come for a visit? She's my shorty. Today. Just helping this fella. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely to see you about, Miss Parvati. Things going all right, Silas? Been keeping him careful and true, miss. Yeah, just have a conversation. Um... Best to ask her yourself. My dad's buried here. Silas watches over him when I get... When I can't leave the house. Watches over him. Like he's gonna come back or something. Oh. Well, thanks. Something I can do for you? Yeah, homie, I got your stuff. You run into any trouble? Yeah, I did. Conrad says he can't afford to pay. Where can I find these people? Conrad's barbershop is a yawning pit that swallows his every bit. I keep telling him he should cut a few corners. Skimp out on the disinfectant. You gotta put the squeeze on Conrad. Find some dirt on him. Maybe check his back room. Well, that's the word, extortion. Been on the tip of my tongue all day. Yeah, now I'm gonna I'm gonna go run into this homie shop <laughs> and just steal his stuff. All right, Conrad. Homie. But Conrad sells real good disinfectant. Stop talking. All right. Yo. What can I do for you? You know what you gotta do for me, man. Um, you sound like you had some training. Thing or two about medicine. Oh. Guess I'll do that. Am I in the company of a fellow doctor? Yeah, I got my medical degree. If we use the term doctor loosely, so you prepared corpse for burial. Pacific job description. I'm guessing you were trained as a medical. You may think that, but the tidiness of my fellow worker is my responsibility. Alive or otherwise. Whether you're showing up to work or going to that great cannery in the sky, it's my job to make you look like a million bits. Cool. I got some questions. Go ahead. Let's see. Ya. What do you know, homie? He's come at us with a vengeance this year. Lost six workers in as many months. Six I wouldn't workers. call them good workers, mind you. If they were any good, they'd have been treated. Still, it is a shame. Dang! Why don't you treat all your Company workers? Company policy, friend. We don't have enough medicine to treat all of us, so we treat the best among us. Cool. Whose idea was Mr. that? Mr. Thompson's brainchild. Have you met him yet? Brainchild. What? What? Most hours. Edgewater has been good to me. I consider myself privileged to work here. I am never wanting for work. Not since the plague started. Sounds exhausting. As the good vicar says, work fortifies the spirit of a man. If you want to feel exhausted, try not having any work. All right, homie, I gotta check your back room. What do I? What am I supposed to be looking for, though? Like that's. Oh. 
examine letter from Phyllis. I ain't gonna read this, homie, but I know it's important. So y'all can watch, y'all can pause the video right here and just read this, but I ain't gonna read it. But it is examined. And I think we've got what we needed though. Shoot, I can't take that. But yeah, I think we've got what we needed. Um, see ya, homie. Um, do we? Or can we talk to him again, probably? What can I do for you? I know about Eugene. Why not use his teeth as a collateral for your gravesite fees? You know about Eugene? How? I cheated. I found that none of your business. I'm a mind reader. I'm gonna be straight up honest. Ben, you know Phyllis suggested selling off Eugene's gold teeth. I didn't approve of the idea then, and I don't approve of it now. Eugene's golden teeth were a family heirloom, representing three generations of poor dental hygiene. He took them to his grave. I'm sure he won't miss them. That's unthinkable. Eugene's body and all rare earth minerals contained therein are solely the property of Spacer's choice. I'm getting this guy pissed I can't off. Ask Silas to dig up a man's body and pry a few teeth loose from his jaw just to pay my bills? Can I? Uh, are you asking rhetorically? Because if you're being serious, ugh, gross. Desperate measures, Miss Holcomb. Desperate measures. I'm going to have to ask Silas to dig up those teeth. It's the only way I'm paying my gravesite fees. Ask forgiveness from the big card later. I don't care. Yeah. The good Vicar Maximilian and I have never quite seen eye to eye, but your point is well taken. Dang straight. Here you are. Gravesite papers affixed with my signature and an IOU. I'm, I'm told Eugene killed himself. What happened? Eugene was not a suicide. He put a bullet in his brain, yes, but that's largely a technicality. I was the one who prepared Eugene's body for interment. I discovered symptoms of the plague on his corpse. And I discovered medicine in his pocket. Lots of medicine. Eugene overdosed on Adrena time, which is known to cause psychosis and paranoia as possible side effects. The paranoia drove him to take his own life. Nice. That's horrible. It's a miracle of bureaucracy. If Eugene's death were filed as a suicide, we'd all pay the price for his crime. We can all thank our lucky stars that young Eugene was hopped up on medication and suffered its predictable side effect. I included it all in my official report. I'd like to think I saved Edgewater a great deal of money. We never could have paid the fines associated with a suicide. Goodbye, man. Mwah. All right. Sorry, she showed you kind of bad. I just got to make sure she's loved, you know what I'm saying? All right. All right, Silas. I got permission from Comrade to dig up the homie's grave for his gold teeth, all right? Fancy threads. That some kind of hibernation suit? Stop talking. Hey, about those fees you wanted. Uh, we need to talk about Eugene. Let's do this first. Any trouble? Yeah. I'm all done paying work fees and signatures. Reliable work from a freelancer. That's gonna nice. I went out of my way for you. And I'll buy you a drink sometime. Thanks, sir. I was hoping for something more tangible. Uh, suppose you've earned it. One good turn deserves another. What did he give me? Wow. Abernathy was trying to hide his own illness. Abernathy was sick with the plague? That's disgusting. I shook hands with the guy. Hey, chill out. He was convinced you knew. Yeah, isn't that what you wanted me to... Isn't that... Uh, I... What? Nah. No. If I knew he was sick, I would have had him reported. I needed his fees because of his name. A for Abernathy. He was at the top of my list, you see? I understand. Let me ask you... Yeah? Eugene. Um, the sound must be in the best shape. I already asked him, you know, some marauders. I've heard any news about the hope. How long have you... The colony no. ship? Are you talking about that old rumor? 
Some great big starship packed full of colonists what got lost in the aether never to be found again. <laughs> yeah, homie. That one since I was but a stripling. Can't say it was terribly convincing far as rumors go. Is there a reason you asking? I'm from there. Me. It's real. I'm living proof. All right, easy now. No need to get your hackles up. Maybe you've been out in the sun too long. Why don't you head over to the cantina? Get yourself some zero G brew. It's a brew that's good for what ails you. They said the colony was expecting us. I don't understand. Look, I don't know what's got you caterwauling about hope this and colony that, but you need to stop. Or there's gonna be trouble. From who? Let's change. Trouble's in the asking. Or don't much care for folk running their mouths, spreading hoaxes and the like. Frankly, neither do I. All right, let's change the subject. Something I can do for you? What about Eugene? Yep. Yeah? What about him? You first. I need. I know you buried him. Uh... Yeah. Funny thing, Eugene's body ain't where it's supposed to be. The night we were supposed to commend his body to the earth, I had his grave all dug up and ready, right? And so I thought, I'll just rest my eyes a bit. When I woke up, his body was gone. Spirited away, vanished. The footprints nearby suggested that Eugene was stolen by marauders. Or he rose from the dead. Let me okay. know if you find anything. No problem. Oh, look at this. Level up, shorty. All right, let's do some inventory management real quick and then end it off here. So character, melee, I don't know. I wanna get everything to 25 first, right? 25 for leadership. Don't really care about the stealth. Dialogue is good, defense. I guess I'll do melee for that. Um, all changes will be lost. Continue? No, no, no. I want to apply. Uh, accept. Cool. Companion abilities. <sighs> cool. Nice. Skills. Um, didn't I have a perk? No? That's fine. Inventory. I don't, can I break down? Yes, I can. Because I don't need anything that's, you know, that sucks. You know? Like, 36, 51, 57, 36. Yeah, hold the breakdown. Weapon parts returned. Break them down. Don't need them. Cool. Can I apply these? Okay, this three armor, four armor, stealth skills five. Well, let's break down one of them because I don't need that. Let's apply that one, break this down. Cool. Got all this stuff too. Journal, don't care. Oh, wait, no, yeah, I do. So, no. Main quest. So, I completed this one. That's cool. Next episode, I will try to complete the die robot and the long tomorrow let's keep it on that robot though but yeah i'm totally stoked with this so far i got a little shorty with me now she has abilities and stuff she's kind of cute um what's her name again P parvati yeah and i met all the homies of the town the big dogs and uh yeah giving this guy some gold teeth so yeah I'll just leave it off at there. And I hope everyone enjoyed. Like and subscribe. Don't forget to comment. And yeah. I'll see you guys another time. Sayonara.